Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Callie, and today I am going to be opening the April Owl Crate box. So I've been patiently waiting, and Owl Crate has been really good about updating everybody. So typically they ship between the 15th and the 20th, which is usually when you get it the day after they send you the shipping, day, day or two. Um, but with everything going on, um, some of the items that were supposed to be in this box didn't come on time, so they wanted to wait until all the items were there so that everyone can have the box to its fullest extent. So I am very excited to open this. I know exactly what book it is, and it is a book that I have been waiting so patiently for, and it's been really hard not to just buy this book on, on its own. So we're going to get into it. It feels really heavy, too. So... Definitely stuck. It's very full. Like I can feel it pressing on the tap. So, ta-da. All right. So our theme for this month was full moon magic, which I have noticed that there has been a big influx in books centered around um, the cycles of the moon, um, but not in a werewolf sense. So it is a very interesting and different take um, than what I would expect when told more moon-centered um, calendar book type books are going around. Got some squiggles. That, all right, so the first thing I see is this little like canvas pouch. So it's this really nice little burlap. A dreamer is one who can only find his way by moonlight. So I like the bag. I'm interested to see what's in the bag. There's a bunch of little things in the bag. They look like ornaments, but I don't really know what they are. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, gosh. Oh. So it's, so we have like the different cycles of the moon in like, with like a little burlap string. All right, so that's kind of neat. Um, and it looks like you can hang it a bunch of different ways. I'd probably hang it like this. I will say this does seem a little cheap. Like it's just some twine and some wooden cutouts. They aren't even painted. Um, this is something I could probably make, um, but it is a really neat idea and it's something very different. We have another little box with, uh, a moon on it with the little owl. Ooh, it's a bracelet. So we got this really pretty crescent moon bracelet and it's in like a really nice rose gold finish. I actually really like these kinds of bracelets because then you don't have to worry about size however i don't really tend to wear bracelets because i have a watch on one although that fits really nicely and looks really nice i like that you're not gonna be able to see that because it's so tiny <laughs> that's really pretty i really like that there's a lot of like little boxes in here oh okay this one feels like a fabric item Ooh, is this a tote bag it is. It's a little mini tote bag. It says the moon is a loyal companion. And we've got, again, the cycles of the moon. And I really like that. The little ivy florals. This is like a nice little canvas bag. I bring these whenever I'm traveling short distances. I used to carry my books, laptop, anything like that. All right. So the next is a paper item. So we have another one of their notepads, which I use these at work all the time. Uh, with freedom, books, flowers, and the moon, who could not be happy for Oscar Wilde. So it's actually, if we got rid of the quote, I would think this is um, Akotar because of the mountains. We're missing just one mountain, but we've got like the starry night. So that's really nice. Um, but they, the last one that they just did was a Sarah J. Mass quote. I believe it was a Manon quote. All right. Um, so next we have this box which is a 300 piece Mooney puzzle. So this is probably our Ramus Lupin puzzle or Ramus Lupin item that they hinted at. So it's really cool. I really like the art. This is almost like a young Ramus, like before, in between when James and Lily were killed and when he became a teacher. So that like in between, cause what a lot of people don't realize is him and Snape were very young um, I believe Snape was like in his 30s when they were when they were killed, so very young. Um, but I really like that. I'm actually currently working on the last puzzle they gave us, um, which was Night Circus themed. So, ooh, this has sprayed edges. 
Oh, and they kept the cover. I'm so happy. I wanna make sure I have everything out of the box. And it looks like I do. All right, so I'm gonna go with the pin first, which our pin is always related to the book. Um, again, very moon-centered. Helps if I know where my camera is. So we've got this really pretty snowy owl with the different cycles, the main cycles of the moon, which is really pretty. So that brings us to our book, which even has moon in the title. So they're pretty on par with the theme of this one. There's our author letter. So our book this month is Bone Crier's Moon by Katherine Purdy. This is really cool and it's got gold sprayed edges. So I'm surprised they did two sprayed edges back to back since the Kingdom of Back had the sprayed edges. Um, but this is another Charlie Bowater cover, which as you guys know is one of my favorite uh, um, book cover artists. Um, and I really dig it. I've been looking forward to this book for a long time, even before the cover was released. And then when it was, it came out as a Charlie Bowater cover, solidified that I needed it even more. So this follows two characters, um, our main two, and the girl wants to become a bone crier, which is this very powerful magician. Necromancy is very heavy in this world, but in order to be fully initiated, she has to kill her soulmate, which is this guy, whose goal in life is to kill a bo bone criers because they killed his family and they go on some weird adventure, I assume. So, very excited for this. I love the fact, I love what they did to the cover. They made it just shiny and then they added the sprayed edges because this cover is already beautiful. It is a gorgeous cover. I'm really excited to dive into this book. It seems like it's gonna be a lot of fun. I also believe this is a standalone, so that'll be really cool. All right, and we have our author letter, and then we have our newsletter, and the theme for n next month, um, which is technically this month, I guess, when you guys are seeing this video. So the theme for May is Rebels with a Cause, which is really cool. And on the back it says, every May box will include a graphic novel from Oni Press. So two two books in the next box, which is really exciting. Um, I just finished a graphic novel not too long ago, so I'm in kind of a mood for like a short, shorter book. I'm really excited for the book that's coming in this. I have a generalized idea as to what it's gonna be, so very, very excited. So I think overall, this was a relatively strong box. I love the bracelet and the, and the tote. I think those were phenomenal. Um, things to include in this box um, and the puzzle. I'm really excited to start the puzzle. I may just scrap the one I'm currently working on and go with this one. I'm not a big fan of the phases of the moon thing. Um, it just feels very cheap, um, which is kind of a bummer, but it still looks really cool. I'll probably hang it up somewhere in my office. But yeah, otherwise, very strong box. Really excited for May's. And I've also recently subscribed to Fairy Loot, um, but I only made it in time for the May box. Um, so I'm really excited to get that and hopefully that will come later this month. But um, both Fairy Loot and Owl Crate are running behind because of everything with COVID-19. So, but they are very good at updating everybody, which is really nice and convenient. So... That's gonna be it for today. So thank you guys for watching. Stay safe. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We post videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. All of our links will be down below. I'll also include Owl Crate's link. So feel free to check out any of those. And I will see you guys in our next video. Bye.